Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this quick little video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have promoted wide receiver Cyril Grayson from the practice squad, and they have also returned offensive guard Aaron Stinney from the injured reserve. If you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button if you do enjoy these types of videos, and leave your thoughts and opinions about both of these roster moves down in the comments section down below. Uh, I'm sorry if I sound sick. For those of you who did not see on the uh, community tab, um, I do have the illness. Uh, that is code for the word that rhymes with MOBID, which MOBID isn't an actual word, but I can't say the actual name of the illness uh, here too much on YouTube, so I'm being safe. But um, yeah, sorry for, for being sick, but I wanted to get some of this content out here for you guys. Uh, going back now to the moves that have been made, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have officially added Cyril Grayson to the active roster. He's been on the practice squad for multiple weeks, being elevated uh, a couple of times throughout the season. And, you know, this is a move that I'm sure a lot of people are very much in support of, myself included. Grayson's been great in the limited capacity that he's gotten so far this year. Uh, he really has been able to show that he has been a deep threat as a wide receiver and a good deep threat at that. He's been able to block. He's been able to make tough catches. He had the game-winning touchdown last week versus the New York Jets. And overall, he's just been a very productive, very efficient wide receiver uh, when he has made plays, which is a very encouraging, very great thing to see. Uh, I imagine he will be a starting wide receiver uh, with Mike Evans, you know, guys like Brashad Perriman and Tyler Johnson. I, I figure that they are going to be rotating in Grayson, Johnson, and Perriman a lot with each other. Um, so probably one guy isn't going to be exclusively getting starting snaps. They're going to want to have probably a healthy rotation there. But I'm confident that all three of those guys, now that Grayson is included in that group, uh, will do a very excellent job. Um, I'm very happy for Grayson. You know, I kind of eat crow here uh, because it's been a, a very long journey here for Grayson. You know, LSU track star uh, gave up scholarships to pursue uh, his dream in the NFL. Didn't have a great start to his Buccaneers career. Uh, you know, he was with the team in 2019. He did, you know, very minor things in 2020. Uh, he only had a couple of passes thrown his way that he did not catch. A lot of people, you know, were down on him again, myself included. But now... What a comeback, right? My gosh, what what a freaking return for Cyril Grayson. Um, and he's making the most of his opportunities now, this one included. So uh, very happy, uh, very excited to see what Grayson can do now that he is a full-time member of the active roster. And then in the case of Aaron Stinney, this is fantastic news for the depth of the Buccaneers' offensive line, um, just in case, right? Because Alex Kappa, you know, knock on wood, but Alex Kappa went down with an injury uh, in the playoffs, and Aaron Stinney had to step in, and overall, he did a fantastic job. It's, you know, one of the reasons a lot of people feel, again, myself included, that Stinney is probably a starting, a future starting offensive lineman for this team. Um, so it's fantastic depth to have. Um, I think it adds a little bit more to what you can do with the offense, um, and I'm just happy to have Aaron Stinney back just in case. You know, again, knock on wood for that, but it's always nice to have good depth. The Buccaneers have gotten that, uh, not just with the Aaron Stinney move, but also with the uh, Cyril Grayson move as well. But what do you guys think of these moves? Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on uh, both these players being back on the Buccaneers' active roster. Cyril Grayson, by the way, did take Antonio Brown's roster spot as he has officially been released. Then, in the case of Aaron Stinney, I don't believe they've made a corresponding roster move yet, but uh, once they do, I'll, I'll probably make a video talking about that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.